The biggest threat to America today is not communism. It's moving America toward a fascist theocracy. And everything that's happened during the Reagan administration is steering us right down that pipe. Oh, I'm Mr. Sorry. Mr. Zapp, you're not, you're not really serious if, if you're saying we're going toward a fascist theocracy. <laughs> that's right, we are. When you have a government that prefers a certain moral code mm -hmm. derived from a certain religion, and that moral code turns into legislation mm -hmm. to suit I'm, one I'm, certain I'm, religious Zapp, point of view, Mr. Zapp, and if that code right. happens to be very, very right wing, almost toward well, Attila the Hun. Well, then you are an anarchist. Every form of civil government is based on some kind of morality, Frank. Morality in terms of behavior, not well, of in course. terms of theology. Frank Zappa, what's my ear doing? Frank Zappa sniffed out the telltale signs of America turning into a fascist theocracy long ago. It's eerily similar to that famous saying, when fascism comes to America, it'll be wrapped in the flag and carrying a cross. Well, at least that's what his followers look like, but the leader is caked in a cheap tan and carrying a diet. Coke. And there are two super crazy things about this. One, this religious savior of the right wing knows nothing about religion. I hear this is a major theme right here, but 2 Corinthians, right? 2 Corinthians 317, that's the whole ball game. I'm one or two of your most favored Bible uh, verses are well, I, I wouldn't want to get into it because to me that's very personal. You know, when I talk about the Bible, it's very personal, so I don't want to get into there's verses. No, there's I don't no want to get into it. There's no, no I, verse I, that means I a just, lot to you that you think about or cite. The, the Bible means a lot to me, but I don't want to get into specifics. But Easter Sunday, Palm Sunday, I'm going to be watching tomorrow live from Riverside, California, great church, but I'm going to be watching on a computer, right? On a laptop. How sad is it that we have Easter Palm and Easter Sunday and people are watching on laptops and computers. It's sad. Yes. Yes, it is sad. They love Christ, but the man is like the antithesis of Christ. If only there was a a term that meant that there is, it's Antichrist. But the second thing that's weird about it is it's not just that Trump is this religious savior who knows nothing about religion, it's that these Americans who are trying to save America know nothing about America. Do you think this should be a Christian country? Oh, I do, I do. We were founded on God and <laughs> Democrats are taking them away. There is no separation of church and state. It's a fabrication. It's a fiction. It's not in the Constitution. It's made up by secular humanists. How about reconciling separation of church and state, which we were founded on? And I don't think that's right. I do not think that's right. They should have never did that. The church is supposed to direct the government. The government is not supposed to direct the church. That is not how our founding fathers intended it. And I'm tired of this separation of church and state junk. Do you know what countries have churches that direct the government? Because you're not going to like them. It's like Afghanistan, Iran, and like England when the pilgrims left it. Frank Zappa had it right. The actual American thing to do is to separate church and state and follow the First Amendment that says that Congress shall pass no law establishing a state religion. And it's frankly terrifying that most most of the right wing's legislative platform is to pass a bunch of laws based on their religion. That's not American at all. Anyway, shout out to Dr. Richie, Indisputable. That's where I saw the Frank Zappa clip first. YouTube.com slash Indisputable TYT. Thank you. I'm going now. It's late.